Patrick Armstrong. He's managing partner at Armstrong Investment Managers. Uh, Patrick, when you look at investing your money in these volatile times, in these times when it seems that investors are, are scrambling for, for somewhere to hide, somewhere safe, what is the backdrop? What is the basic thesis to your investing at the moment? We think we're in a stagflationary environment. Stagflation means low or negative growth plus persistent inflation. And by that definition, we're there right now. And that's a toxic environment for most traditional investors. Bonds don't perform because you're destroying the real value of your wealth because inflation is outstripping yields. Equities struggle, especially cyclical equities, because you're not generating earnings growth. So it's quite a tricky environment for most investors, but there are some very compelling opportunities right now. I think. And what are they? Telecoms, especially the Eurozone telecom companies. France Telecom, Telefonica are both yielding 11%, both trading at five times EV to EBITDA, two and a half times cash flow. So they're, they're pricing talking about in. cash cash cash-rich companies with it that pay nice dividends. Exactly, with stable earnings that aren't dependent on the economy. So these are the companies that are paying dividends far in excess of inflation. If you're buying a government bond, you're destroying the real value of your wealth. So companies that are paying a dividend above inflation have the ability to maintain that dividend even in the cyclical downturn. Those are the kind of equities we're looking for. Uh, you also mentioned utilities as something that you like a lot, Tele telecoms, utilities. Uh, why utilities? Well, utilities are the sector everyone hates, so we're being very contrarian there. But it, it's, they have a real asset base. They've got tariffs that are linked to inflation. So if we are in a stagflationary environment, a lot of these utilities just increase their tariffs their with inflation. So it's a bit of a hedge but against But have a look that. at this. I mean, this is the stock 600 oh, utilities. It's down quite a bit. So you're saying that this is a safe place to go, but it's performed... Well, pretty, it's, pretty poor. Yeah, it's become very safe now because they're trading down below book value, a lot of them even. And but one of the worries here is that governments are going to kind of pillage utilities uh, oh, looking definitely. for revenue. Yeah, yeah they, utilities aren't a massive upside. Governments will not pillage them because their citizens need the services they provide. You can't destroy utilities so much. And you're at a point right now where the market's saying E.ON won't have any earnings five years in the future. It'll never have earnings again. And Earnings are that deteriorating. Right. It's, it's not right. Yeah. It has a real asset base. It'll okay. provide electricity. And you want to buy these things that have real assets, have real stable cash flow, when the market says you're crazy to buy them. Right. So when we look at developed markets, you're looking at telecoms, you're looking at utilities. What about if we move to emerging markets? You're still... Uh, we're still looking at equities there. Um, we don't have any emerging market equities at the moment. And we think they're still fully priced. We think there is going to be growth in emerging markets. We think globally there will be a very low growth in the West, no growth, emerging markets with growth. But you're paying for that growth in emerging markets. So, really. so what if we see a further fall in equity markets in the emerging world? Will you oh, then go in? Exactly, yeah. Because we do believe in the fundamentals there. We just don't want to pay the valuations that the market's still demanding even after this sell-off. Where we're short is on the other end of what we're long is Small cap U.S. stocks are ridiculously valued. The Russell 2000 is trading at 30 times earnings right now, and that's after a 25% sell-off. Yeah, there's no way the earnings growth, the consensus earnings growth, have earnings doubling over the next 12 months. No chance that's achieved. Massive earnings revisions and downgrades over the next 12 months, and that index could fall another 50%. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks very much for sharing that with us, Patrick Armstrong.